Hey, here's a bit of a change of pace. The monster I'm showing today is the Batmantis? <laughs> this is not a monster based on uh, old demonology books or mythology or folklore. This is really more like fan art. This monster is inspired of uh, a cryptid that appears in David Wong's latest book titled, What the Hell Did I Just Read? It's the third book from the John Dies at the End series, and it's really, really good. I recommend it. In fact, I recommend the whole series. It's really solid. The monster's description in the book is kept a little bit vague, I think on purpose. I think the idea is probably more that it's something really... a monster that's really hard to describe, but some random guy caught footage of it, put it on YouTube, and made a goofy name for it that very vaguely described its shape. The most specific bits of description that I remember is that uh, it can fly, has a lot of legs, and sharp hook-like arms. Of course, I just went for a super goofy monster design. Because that's what I do. Just made an absurd collage of mantis and bat parts. My pencil sketch actually had the mantis arms and the bat wings placed where you would expect. But when I drew the sprite version, I just decided swapping them was way better. I guess you could say the idea is that, unlike something that came from evolution and natural selection, or something designed by a mad scientist or something like that, something that is neither of these things, a monster that's an abomination of nature, something that shouldn't exist, some sort of complete freak of nature shouldn't entirely make functional sense in how it's shaped. And, you know, as a bonus, it looks really stupid. At first I was kind of going for a Jersey Devil kind of shape for the, the neck and head. You know, kind of in part of that old, kind of spooky drawing of it. But uh, the front batwing-shaped arms kind of obscures that shape. It doesn't really uh, doesn't really give a Jersey Devil uh, vibe at the end, so that's too bad. As usual, I drew this on my live stream on Twitch. Check the video description for a link to my Twitch channel. I stream every night at 8 p.m. EST, except on Mondays. I'm really happy with how the monster's design turned out. Uh, a really awkward, haphazard mix of, uh, of bat and mantis. I think it looks appropriately stupid. Now, I'm not really sure if I'm actually going to be using this monster uh, in my horror game. This was mostly drawn just for fun. I had just finished reading the book, and I really liked it, so... I just had to draw something. If I do, it'll probably be more of an easter egg than anything. Maybe that thing attacks you if you do a very specific series of uh, actions in the game. Maybe it's triggered by going to a very specific room and being there like exactly after five minutes elapsed since the start of the game. You know, something like that. And then, a battle against this monster begins just out of nowhere. Maybe it's called, like, The Abomination or something. Oh, that might be cool, actually. That might be a really special challenge for the game. Oh, jeez, I'm getting ideas while I'm recording this commentary, that's great. Yeah, because then it means that you have exactly five minutes after the beginning of the game, to get as strong as you can, like to get 
exactly the items you need for this fight. That would create a really... a really special challenge that people would need to make specific routes for. And then maybe killing that monster would give you a really good early game reward. Though I should probably make it not so good that uh, going for that monster kill becomes the obvious strategy that everyone goes for if they play the game. You know, that's the risk of putting in a really significant reward early on for something in, a, in kind of an open-ended game like this. The result can be that the best strategy on how to play the game becomes a bit too obvious. Maybe it should go the other way, in fact. Maybe that killing that monster should actually punish you. Like, it should put a permanent curse on your main character or something. So instead of seeing it as a reward, it's more like... It's more almost like a, a hidden game mode or something. A secret modifier to make the game more interesting in a very specific way, you know? That could be cool. Something to think about. Uh, anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. 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 Subscrib